Okay, so in this video, we're looking at the mount for the Insta360 Go. This is basically just a piece of rubber. It's, uh, it's one of the designs I've made myself. If we take the camera out here, we can have a better look at it. So this is just a 2D shape, and it's been folded up. It's cut from a piece of 6mm foam. Now, this is just the sort of foam you can buy at many pool shops or hardwares. And because it's a 2D shape, you can just cut it out yourself. Uh, there's links down below to a PDF version and the CAD version as well. So we're going to have a look at it close up and see how it works. And then we'll head down the beach and we'll do some flights and see if we can get some footage. And this foam mount should really sort of isolate the camera from the vibrations of the frame with, the, with being made out of foam. All right, so we'll just have a look at the piece of foam. If I take the battery out there. So this piece of foam, as I said, is just a 2D shape. So there it is there. That's what it looks like. And I've actually designed this one to be the, the right shape to hold the battery. So the battery actually sits down on top of the foam here and sits down on the frame. Of course, the battery strap pulls down on there and keeps it all secure. So we just put this in here. There we go, battery strap goes over there. The battery goes in here. And when they tighten the battery strap down, it just holds that in nice and secure. And then the camera goes through the front here, and it's a nice firm fit. So this is a really good idea if you don't want to put a Insta360 sort of hard mount onto each of your, your quads, and you don't want to be swapping it all the time. This is one that you can just easily take off, and just swap it from one to the other, whichever you happen to be using. Okay, let's give it a fly and see how it goes. So for this test we're going to be using the Tiny Hawk 2 freestyle frame. Now this is quite a small airframe. If you're actually going for some stable footage, you'd probably use a you know a three or at least a three or four inch frame. But this frame here has got 7,000 kilovolt motors and 2.5 inch props. So it probably should be a little bit more uh, a little bit more vibration than, than most other frames. So it's going to be a good test for this camera and this uh, this rubber mount here. And we'll just uh, give it a fly and see how it goes. Okay, so just a little bit of an explanation as we're watching the footage here. So you can see that I've actually got the flow state stabilization turned off in this part of the video that I've exported. And in the second part of the flight, I'll actually be exporting that part of the flight with the flow state turned on just so you can see the difference. So of course the rubber mount is making a bit of a difference here. Uh, but also uh, just pay attention to the camera settings. I'm using manual camera settings here. And most importantly, 50 frames a second with a shutter speed of 1 over 100, so 100 being double 50. So this gives a, a nice sort of, uh, a little bit of a blurred view like the natural eye sees, and it also helps to stop yellow too. Okay, so we'll just uh, see the change over to the next part of the video in a second, where we're using stabilization. So here we are, the second part of the flight video here, and we've actually, I've actually exported this part of the video from the Insta360 Go software with stabilization turned on, so you can see the difference that makes. And of course, you know, still so obviously using the, the manual settings as well, which is very important to get the best flight footage. Okay, so we'll just have a look at the rest of the flight.